If you are of the mind that self-care is selfish, your world is about to be turned upside down in a good way. In this episode, we are going to address the myth that self-care is selfish and other myths about self-care that could be holding you back from living your best life. For once, I didn't have spit up on my shirt. My hair was washed, and I even had a pair of dangling earrings on. I was out of the house by myself, which was something I hadn't done in months. My baby was just a couple of months old, and although I adored spending time with her, I was in desperate need of a break. But as I sat there with my girlfriend, I found my gaze wandering to the clock on my phone. I felt restless and guilty. You may have heard of this as mom guilt. When I got home, I felt this need to make up for my time away. The truth is, I felt guilty whenever I took time for myself. Even when I didn't leave the house and just did some yoga or painted my toenails while my baby slept instead of doing the dishes or washing the seemingly endless pile of laundry? Can you relate? It took me quite some time to realize it didn't have to be this way. So today, we are going to bust the myths around self-care so you can stop feeling guilty for taking care of yourself. Let's dive in. Myth Number one, the first myth, we've all heard of it. Self-care is selfish. One of my biggest aha moments in motherhood was that taking care of myself wasn't actually selfish at all. It was one of the most selfless things I could do as a mom. I like the example of the stewardess giving a safety demonstration at the beginning of a flight. During part of the demonstration, she shows you how to put on the oxygen mask. She instructs you to put on your oxygen mask before helping anyone else, including your own children. That goes against all of our motherly instincts, right? But if you consider that if you helped your children and everyone else first, you would surely run out of life-giving oxygen in the process, and then you wouldn't be able to help anyone. When we look at self-care in the same way, it makes it easy to see that self-care isn't selfish at all. If we wanna be of service to others, we must first care for ourselves. Myth number two, self-care is extravagant. Let me ask you a question. When you think of self-care, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Share your answer in the comments. You may think that self-care takes a lot of time, money, or other resources you just don't have. Many times, self-care is thought of as getting a massage or a pedicure or having a girls weekend. And although this can be part of your self-care, true self-care goes deeper. True self-care is taking care of your whole being, body, mind, and soul, moment to moment, It can be as simple as pausing to take a deep breath, making yourself a cup of tea, or soaking in the sunshine with your toes in the grass. That's why I love the term soul care. You'll hear me refer to the term soul care and self care interchangeably. Myth number three, self care looks the same for everyone. Since true self care is taking care of yourself, body, mind, and soul moment to moment, and because we are each unique individuals, there is no way that this is going to look the same for everyone. Tuning into your heart space is the best way to know what you need. Myth number four, self-care is optional. I used to believe this, that self-care was this thing you did when you felt like it or when you had the time. 
But as I found out after becoming a mom, self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity. This quote from Eleanor Brown speaks to this beautifully. She says, rest and self-care are so important. When you take time to replenish your spirit, it allows you to serve others from the overflow. You cannot serve from an empty vessel. So beautiful. You can't be the vibrant, loving person you are meant to be without taking care of yourself first. This is so true, especially for moms. Myth number five. Self-care means choosing between yourself and others. This one ties back into our first self-care myth, that self-care is selfish. I love this quote from Katie Reed. She says, Self-care is giving the world the best of you instead of what's left of you. This is the exact opposite of selfishness. It isn't about choosing between yourself and others. It's about filling your cup and taking care of yourself so you can be the best version of yourself and pour your love into your children, your family, your friends, and the world. I hope this has helped you shift your perspective of self-care and drop any guilt you have around taking care of yourself. If you wanna be the best mom you can be and enjoy the journey of motherhood, self-care and soul care need to be embraced and prioritized in your day. If you are ready to start bringing soul care into your day, be sure to get the Kickstart Your Calm Morning Guide, a soul care ritual for moms as a free gift when you join the Soul Care Mom community. Here's what one mom had to say. Kickstart Your Calm Morning changed my mornings in the best way ever. One morning I woke up feeling anxious and lousy about the day. I took five minutes to implement the steps and I immediately felt calmer and more ready to take on the day. You can find the link to get your free copy of the Kickstart Your Calm Morning Guide in the show notes and start feeling like a calm mom today. I hope you loved this episode, Mama. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know you loved it and would like to see more videos like it. Sending you so much love.